Meet Miss Kerala. In the beauty pageant world of freshwater tropical fish, she's a star, but a star under threat. Found in just four small rivers, hundreds of thousands are caught and smuggled out of the country each year. Their population in the wild is dwindling fast. The species is notoriously hard to breed in captivity. That's why this fishery school near Kochi decided to tackle the problem. They also took it upon themselves to add a little extra to the fish's genetic code. Once we perfected the breeding technology and culture technology, we thought we will add some you know, value addition to it. Just like Chinese do in the sea and the Singaporeans do in the zebra fish, you know. We thought we will introduce some green fluorescent protein into the egg of the fish so that the whether we can make it glow just like the zebra fish developed by the Singaporeans. These fish have the glow gene in their DNA, but at the moment it only expresses itself in the young. The scientists hope they'll soon be able to develop adult fish with the same glow-in-the-dark traits, and if they do, it'll open up a large export industry. The man behind the genetic experiments, C.K. Manoj. In this basic laboratory, working largely alone and without proper consent, he's been able to add the glow gene to the fish. He hopes that by creating a high-value GE variant for export, it will take the pressure off the wild population and ultimately save the species. He says it won't be let out of the lab until permissions are granted and the fish are genetically stable. Once the uh, strain is developed, which is glowing in the dark, and then we have to go for its uh, stable and uniform expressions. And once it is developed, then before market, uh, ma marketing or commercializing, we have to make the fish sterile using some technology. It can be done by hormonal technology or by even transgenic technology itself. GE ornamental fish are not new and may be harmless enough, but the fact that such unregulated genetic experimentation is going on sounds an alarm. The fear the same technology applied to other species or in the wrong hands could threaten both the environment and human food supplies. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Kerala, India.